First, remove the four screws on the bottom cover in turn. Then remove the four screws on the baffle on this side of the mesh port. Next, remove the eight screws from the motherboard. Gently lift the motherboard with your thumb and forefinger and pull it outward to remove the motherboard. Flip to the back of the motherboard. Remove the SSD lock plus screws. Align the hard drive's gold finger with the slot. When you insert the hard drive, you hear a click sound, which means that the hard drive has been installed successfully. Then tighten the hard drive screws. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal grease to the CPU and 10 GB network hard chips. Or remove the original silicon grease and reapply. Align the corresponding positions. The fan cable should be run to the back of the screw post. Once the motherboard is aligned, fix the eight screws. Align the gold finger of the memory module with the memory module slot. Insert at an angle of 30 degrees into the memory slot, then press the memory module down. Press until you can hear a click sound, indicating that the memory has been installed successfully. Finally, fix the bezel and bottom cover screws. It can be used normally. The WIFI module plugs into the M2 WIFI slot and sets the screws. Then remove the Wi-Fi hole plug and tighten the antenna elbow. Align the wire through the hole and tighten the antenna elbow. The anti wi fi slot can be used to mount hard drives via an adapter board. It is this kind of M2 Wi-Fi to NVMe SSD adapter board. If the hard drive is installed on the motherboard, there is no need to remove the motherboard screws. Align the socket and install the fixed adapter plate to install the SSD. Finally, install the 2.5-inch SSD. The hard drive cable is plugged into the 4-pin SATA socket. Then secure the hard drive to the bottom cover.